As Russian President Vladimir Putin steps up his attacks on Ukraine, the increasingly isolated leader just got a warm visit. UAE President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan arrived in St. Petersburg on Tuesday while on a diplomatic trip to Europe. The Emirati Foreign Ministry said that Al Nahyan's visit aims to help reach a peaceful solution to the war in Ukraine and to reduce the human cost of Russia's invasion. While Ukraine officially topped the agenda, the meeting comes less than a week after OPEC Plus, that's a group of oil producers that includes the UAE and Russia, slashed its production targets, a move harshly criticized by Washington given the expected rise in gasoline prices. Our decisions, our action, aren't directed against anyone. We aren't acting to create problems for anyone. Our actions are aimed to ensure stability in global energy markets. While Abu Dhabi, a longtime U.S. ally, has maintained diplomatic ties with Moscow since 1991, economic relations between the sides has deepened over the past year. Despite the difficult economic conditions, we managed to achieve a lot. We've increased our trade turnover from 2.5 billion to 5 billion. And about half a million tourists from Russia. We managed to achieve all of this with the help of Russia. Many of those visitors include Russian oligarchs fleeing Western sanctions, with some luxury real estate firms in Dubai more than doubling sales to Russian buyers in the first six months of 2022. And so, despite U.S. President Joe Biden and other Western leaders saying that the whole world is against Putin, the UAE, which has refrained from joining Western-led sanctions against Russia, demonstrates once again that it is open to dialogue with everyone.